Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of GigaTech. Today we are going to talk about Selenium 3 versus Selenium 4. So we are going to see that what, what new features Selenium 4 is providing to us and why we should use Selenium 4 instead of Selenium 3. So now uh, let's talk about Selenium uh, 3 versus Selenium 4. So the first thing is that uh, when it got uh, Selenium 4 when it got released. So it's released around 2018 but it's stable version released around October 2021. So now they <coughs> providing the new uh, stable version of Selenium 4 for automation testing frameworks around uh, October 2021. Now let's see the key differences between Selenium 3 versus Selenium 4. So the first thing is that uh, WebDriver API. So what was happening in uh, Selenium 3 that it uses the WebDriver APIs for browser automation, but in Selenium 4 it they have enhanced the web driver apis so they could provide um, more functionality and performance so now the imp uh, they have improved the performance in selenium 4 uh, using the web driver apis the second point is uh, w3c web driver protocols so previously uh, selenium 3 was supporting partial uh, protocols of w3c but now it supports all the protocols which are related to w3c uh, relative locators uh, which is not available in selenium 3 so now they have introduced uh, relative locators uh, in selenium 4 so they so uh, the elements can find easily okay previously there were many times when uh, even though we are able to locate the elements but when at the runtime uh, the elements not uh, getting located easily so now they have provided an, another facility uh to the that's called the relative locators uh the uh, fourth point is uh, reactive web drivers previously uh, previously this kind of web driver was not supported in selenium 3 but now for asynchronous testing this time uh, in selenium 4 um, selenium 4 provided reactive uh, web driver uh, the chromium edge support it has a limited support in selenium 3 but now in selenium 4 it support all the features of chromium edge browser uh, the next is uh, web element interactions so what was happening in selenium 3 that we have basic interactions like click send keys uh, double click all those stuff and now uh, in selenium 4 they uh, provided new more uh, interactions like drag and drop previously drag and drop was not available in selenium 3 so for <clears throat> features to be covered in website like drag and drop and context clicking is now covered in selenium 4 so uh, why we should use selenium 4 at least we have selenium 3 with us then why it's necessary to use selenium 4 so like uh, as we talked about that it has all the compliances of w3c schools so with what it will do it will create a more uh, consistent test behavior across the different test uh, browsers so it will be a you know we don't have to uh, put uh, different uh, code for different browsers sometimes it happens Sometimes what happens previously that in Chrome things were working fine, but in in uh, Firefox or in Safari it was not working properly. So we need to put extra stuff for uh, for that. But now it's it uh, it is uh, W3C uh, compliant. All the protocols now it's compliant. So we don't have to put those uh, extra efforts. Okay. Now improved browser support. So now uh, it has the better compatibility for the latest browser versions and features relative locators as we talked so you know it will locate uh, the elements quickly and it makes the application robust the another one is enhanced selenium grid so easier setup management for distribution test environment dev tools integration uh, direct access to uh, chrome dev tools capabilities for advanced debugging and interactions with web applications previously uh, the debugging was limited so here you can see so the basic uh, difference you can understand from the architecture of selenium 3 and selenium 4 is that here you can see that it was uh, interacting previously with uh, json wire protocol okay so all these selenium bindings like java c hash uh, ruby javascript so those were uh, interacting first with, uh, with uh, json uh, wire protocol then it goes to the browser drivers and like safari edge opera chrome 
then it called to the real browsers which was working uh, behind uh, so it calls all the browsers based on the drivers like chrome driver will call uh, the chrome browser safari driver will call safari uh, browser okay then it will uh, give us the an http re response uh, to those drivers and based on that uh, we uh, automate the application now in selenium 4 what it is doing now it's instead of json wire protocol it it is uh, using w3c protocol so what it will do it it makes more robust application more robust uh, automation for our application instead of uh, we say because now all the bindings selenium bindings are directly uh, interacting with w3c protocol so those protocol are directly uh, in interaction with the drivers and those drivers are going to interact with the real browser so it makes uh, our automation suite more compatible more uh, robust okay and it will save time in development also so this is all about selenium 3 versus selenium 4 there are more details of also we are going to talk about them uh, soon so you know we want to uh, see that what are the w3c protocols those were not uh, supported previously but now it is supporting so i will create a separate video on those stuff okay what are the um, relative uh, locators which is introduced by selenium 4 so i will create a separate uh, video on that and we will discuss on that so that's all so thank you for your support if you like to my channel please subscribe and share with your colleagues and in case you want uh, to discuss about more uh, automation related stuff or java stuff then just leave in comments then i will try to cover them in the next videos thank you